you know, the website is an important part of the data capture because it is the start of the funnel for most of uh, content. We get something like, if I was, I was trying to pull numbers, it's probably 60% of our leads that come in and, and look at that, a number, right? That's something we couldn't have before we had this engagement, right? So like 60% of our leads um, that we end up chasing are coming in through unpaid um, captures associated with the website. Um, so we've gone from, you know, 75 leads um, coming in on a global basis to over 600 leads coming in on a global basis per month. Um, that's that's a massive increase. And, um, you know, it, 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 a lot of that is down to that interaction, us deciding how that top of the funnel got built and then how, you know, we capture that data automatically. So, you know, making sure HubSpot set up a, appropriately to capture the right data, to funnel it into, um, you know, Salesforce. From our point of view, the introduction of salesforce.com gave us the tools to do the measurements and to actually gather the data we needed to be actually become a data-driven organization. And before that, it was, it was individual management, of Excel spreadsheets, it was individual you know, gut feels. We had an internal tool called SKM that nobody populated because it was garbage. Um, but fundamentally, it was garbage because nothing beneficial ever came out of it. It didn't feed back into the process. It didn't manage the process. The 